Hello everyone, welcome to, I guess what you would call my Valentine's Day special video. Instead of recording some cutesy illustration with Dave and I, I thought I would record the process of me making his Valentine's Day card. When it comes to giving cards on holidays and special occasions and stuff like that, I almost never buy cards. I hate buying cards at the store. It's just so impersonal. Anyone can buy that card and I just think the process of making cards is also fun, except for the fact that I absolutely hate making cards. Which I entirely blame on Dave because before I met him, before we started to date, I would just make cards out of paint and just a little bit of paper cutting. But once him and I started to date, he started to make these crazy cards cut out with pieces of paper. They're super funny, they're adorable, I absolutely love them. And now I kind of feel like I have to keep up with him, so I started to make him little cutout cards on holidays too. I thought about making this video where Dave and I both make our Valentine's Day cards and then we sort of have a competition, sort of like how we did the gingerbread houses on Christmas. But with this being our first year actually together, because we were in a long distance relationship for many years, I thought we should do Valentine's Day a little bit differently because to be honest, Valentine's Day is kind of butts. It's really all on the man to do something for the woman. I think that's just kind of stupid and I want to do something for Dave too. So instead of having a day where we both compete and both try to do things for each other, I thought we should maybe have Valentine's Day for one of us to do something and then another day for the other to do something. And instead of trying to come up with another day to do Valentine's Day, I thought it only made sense to do this in the Japanese style. I know, I'm a huge weeb. If you don't know how Japan does Valentine's Day, it's, it's much different. The way Valentine's Day works in Japan is usually women give men chocolate, whether it be friends, coworkers, students, or actually someone they like. One month later, the guys who receive chocolate from the girls are expected to give something back on White Day, which is on March 14th. So this year on Valentine's Day, I am going to be treating Dave, and Dave is going to be treating me on White Day, which is on March 14th. I know Valentine's Day is pretty much a worthless holiday. You love someone every day, but you know what? My life is boring, and I need a holiday every month to keep my life exciting, okay? Let me do something special this month. You can have your little poo-poo party somewhere else. <laughs> Okay, so now that we're like two and a half minutes into this video and I haven't talked about what I'm doing at all, let's talk about what I'm doing. So just like any other art project, I did want to start off by sketching and thumbnailing some ideas for the cards. Usually the format of these cards starts off with some stupid beginning of a joke in the front and then you open it up to reveal the hilarious joke that we've put in. So at the very beginning of the card, I have me saying to Dave something stupid like, um... Oh, Dave, you know, the way to a man's heart is through his stomach, her, her, her. And then you open it up and I am naked in a pile of poutine. If you don't know what poutine is, it's a Canadian dish or French Canadian dish that is fries, cheese curds, and gravy. Looks disgusting, looks like vomit, but it actually tastes pretty good. Dave loves poutine and we always make jokes that he loves poutine more than me or whatever, you know, har, har, har hilarious marriage jokes. So originally the joke was going to be something like he loves poutine more than me, but then I decided to put myself naked in a giant thing of poutine because why not? And of course, once I had my general idea and a really good sketch down, it was time to start cutting out the pieces in paper and putting them together, which is not a process I like. I'm not really good at figuring out how to layer these paper things and I especially do not like to glue all these little tiny pieces together because it's just so hard. You get glue all over your fingers, the little pieces are going everywhere, it's hard to, I guess, position them before you're actually ready to glue them to see what it looks like, there's pieces going all over the place, your scissors are too big, you can't cut the pieces and it's just so hard. However, I do think the results are pretty worth it because a handmade card that isn't just handmade but it's also made out of little pieces of paper, I think, is the most adorable thing. Even though I don't like it, I do like to put the effort into it. I always wish I had the patience to do paper crafting because I really like the effect of cutout paper illustrations. Illustrations made out of cutout paper. It's so cute and you can get such crazy details if you know what you're doing and you have the patience to do it. I just remembered that people even put them in shadow boxes and when they play around with making things look 3D, it especially looks really cool. And I'm going off topic, but man, if you make those, props to you. I wish I had the patience. 
For the poutine container, usually poutine comes in these like foil bowl things and somehow Dave had this shiny foily paper just sitting right there on top of his pile of cardstock. Dave has a lot of cardstock because he makes these cards and I am very thankful for that because it makes it very easy to make these cards whenever I want to do it. So like I said, there was just this shiny silvery stuff right there and he let me use it and I was very excited because it was the perfect fit for the poutine container. For the fries, I wanted to try to give them just a little bit more of a 3D effect by adding that second color of yellow, maybe as a shadow, I guess. Instead of just having a bunch of one-toned fries sticking out of this container and them just looking like these yellowy sticks sticking out, I tried to put a little effort into making them look like they had some third dimension by putting that shadow in there, and I don't know if it worked, but it at least helped separate the fries from each other. I'll admit they didn't turn out the best, but I think they turned out all right. Something that I really like about Dave's cards is that he makes them half the size of the card that I'm making right now. Honestly, I just can't think about working that small because like I said, working with small pieces of paper to begin with just isn't something that I'm super into. But the way he makes the cards smaller just makes them so much more cute and I, I love it. I wish I had a few to show you guys for show and tell, but of course they are back in Tennessee and I don't have them with me, but maybe one day we can do a show and tell with different stuff we make. Until then, I should probably stop complimenting his card so much or he's gonna let it get to his head. Actually, not even Dave likes to make these cards. He always tells me that they're such a pain to make, just like I think, but I like the cards so much that I tell him that he is committed for the rest of his life to keep making these cards. And he doesn't just make them for Valentine's Day. He makes them for birthdays, Christmas, any sort of special occasion that might pop up. So he's committed to several cards a year. Also, he makes them for his parents as well. So RIP Dave, basically. I think I only make these cards for him on his birthday and Valentine's Day. I don't think I do Christmas. Sorry, Dave. Anyways, getting back to talking about the process of making the card, I wanted to decorate around me and the poutine with just a little bit more so it wasn't just a plain cardstock behind me. So I thought I would make a few fries with gravy and cheese curds on them behind me and they would be three dimensional in the sense that you can touch them and they would bounce a little bit. I also decorated the bottom of the card by putting some fries with gravy on them just around the bottom and just to Decorate. I don't know. I'm not good at this card making thing. So I wrote Dave a sweet little message on the card and glued it into the bottom and that is my Valentine's Day card to Dave. Let me know in the comments down below. Do you have a date for Valentine's Day or are you a, what is it? Valentine's Day poo pooer. <laughs> it's okay to be single guys. There's no rush. And hey, look at it this way. If you don't like Valentine's Day, you can always celebrate my birthday, which is coming up. February 20th. That's right. Mark your calendars. All right. Thanks for watching guys. And I will see you in the next video. Thank you so much to all of my patrons, including Michael Young, Sarah James, Jonathan Chihuahua, Fitzditz, Zach Abstract, Lex CS, Oni, Shelby, Teresa, J. Lewis, Holly Holden, Megan, Lozo, Danielle Firecracker, Chris Side, Cuckoo, Emily, and Aaron. If you want a shout out at the end of my videos, access to my sketchbook, coloring pages, and more, become my patron by clicking the link in the description. Thank you all so much for the support. Bye. Bye.